Hello everybody, and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Stringer Bell and Drick. Uh, Drick won the toss with his woodies and chose, chose to kick to the necromantic Stringer Bell team. Um, Stringer Bell here has, has kind of made a fatal mistake, in my opinion. In that he's committed to the tree. Um, he did a good job of defending the other side against the split LOS. And he's oh, he's going to go for a lucky surf if he gets the chance. So, he, yeah, one dice on the tree into another one dice. And gets a skull, uses a reroll, and yeah, that's awful, isn't it? <laughs> right, Stringer Bell has a 68 win percentage. Um, he qualified through the AD English Invitational and I played him in the in AD English Invitational and he, uh, in my opinion, he completely outplayed me and thoroughly deserved to beat me. Um, I think he did have a slightly better dice than me, but I, I didn't think it mattered much. Um, so, you know, I've, thought, I've, you know, and I've played Drick before and uh, Drick has beaten me before and Drick's very good. Unlucky double one there. Maybe he could have tried a better way to blitz to not have to make dodges, but you know, unlucky because he could have really got a bunch of players through making dodges and had catches and stuff. Uh, Drake has a 72 win percentage, beating with Wood Elves, and he won the CCL Season 15 on Xbox. Um, so, yeah, you know, now. Let's have a look at the team. So Stringer Bell, I, I really don't like Necros. <laughs> he only went with two rerolls, and he's already used one straight away on a one dice block. Um, tackle White, he's got two Whites. Looks like he's only got one Ghoul, 13 players. Two Wolves, two Freshies. Skill wise, actually, oh, he hits again. You know. <laughs> And like, sure he's been unlucky with his dice rolls, but you can't just one dice the tree. You know, there's so many players stuck on it. It's such low odds. He's used both re-rolls already in turn, turn two, and he did post in the Discord that he was on his way home. Um, he said he was stuck in traffic and stuff, so he may have been late. So I guess, I guess he's just, you know, he just wasn't mentally prepared at all for the match because he's just basically blown it on turn two. <laughs> you know, no re-rolls on offense against Woodies. That's absolute nightmares. And what did he get out of it? A couple of one dices on a tree. Outrageous. But, you know, a tackle there, that's all right. I, li I like, actually, the block mighty blow on one wolf and wrestle on the other because it kind of makes up for the lack of tackle a bit, doesn't it? So, you know, frenzy wrestle, that's pretty good. And then a guard, guard fleshy, but yeah. And a block, a block ghoul. Um... Yeah, I mean, the skills are okay. I, I do like the wrestle and the block. Maybe. But I, I don't really like Necro as a choice for this. Um, Drick has gone, has gone... I think he's only gone to... Yeah, only one reroll plus the apple. But, of course, he's gone the standard tackle strip leader. And he's also taken kick, which I, I think is a very marginal. Very marginal pick. And then he won in nine, didn't he, after that? He's no, got no rerolls left. One in nine. So all he's done is fight the tree and lose. <laughs> I don't know whether Stringer Bell has a severe case of dendrophobia, but he was he was certainly barking up the wrong tree <laughs> with his strategy for this game. Um, very, very, you know, unbelievably uncharacteristically poor. Um, Outrageous to go for that. I think you know it's it's just not what you do, is it? You can you can you can avoid him, or you can stick a zombie on him, or if you get two dice with your block mighty blow guy, then hit him on two dice with your block mighty blow guy. But don't one dice him with you know with he's got stand firm and strength six. You know he's he's not easy to deal with. Um, and even if you do deal with him, it's not that good because they've still got a team of elves. So yeah. I, th I think that must have been it. He just head wasn't in the game at all, and he, unluckily for him, I, I know he entered a bunch of qualifiers, 
Um, something like he got the six finals or something in the qualifiers. And yeah, it seems a shame that he's put in all this effort and then he, for some reason, he, he just attacked the tree like that. And I mean, normally you would try and stop the elves stalling out the half, but Drick doesn't need to stall out the half now because he can, you know, he's got no rerolls. Drick can go for two 0 at half time now, score next turn, and then go for the go for another turnover. <laughs> they did have a bribe here, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I thought if his bribe had failed here, he'd be, he'd be completely done. But you know, it was just, it was just weird. It's just not a good strategy, is it? It's like it's what new players do: get all the players stuck on the tree, and I don't know if he miscounted or what. You know, if he thought it was two dice with his, with his wolf, then fair enough. But even then, if you think it's two dice, hit with your block mighty blow one. So you're at least making a mighty blow claw hit on him 75% of the time. Don't don't do it with you know you know if he had two dice, he'd only be getting 55% and knockdown with the wrestle guy you know. So yeah, if, if you're going to hit him at all, do it with the block mighty blow one. So yeah, Drick gets the one now, and he'll be he'll be looking to run up the score now, seeing as. String of is out of rerolls instantly. Instantly out of rerolls. Doesn't really mind about giving up this this surf here. I mean, it, it's not an easy surf. Is it two dice and one dice and three plus dodge out? I guess he thinks it's worth, you know, worth it when your opponent's got a reroll. When they haven't got a reroll, I guess they won't go for it. I like this, the tree on the on the square behind, so they can't fo follow up any blocks. Or in this case, if they hit with a wolf, they'll be faced by the tree and getting punched. But, um... Yeah, I, I, he had a mare there, string a bell. I don't know, I don't know what, was, what he was thinking. Nerves, or pressure, or just the fact that he just got back from work. And just wasn't, wasn't ready to play, maybe. I, mean, I really don't like letting your block mighty blow guy just get punched by a tree. And he gets a couple of removals. And if he can make this one more, then he's got a chance if he can make it one one at half time, but still. Really, really bad. Really bad. Just you know, strategy of going after the tree. I think. At least he's got the flesh gold in there, so that he can't get three dice on, on the wolf. So he does go for the. The risky surf. And just risky block in general, isn't it? Gotta dodge out. And people always do that to me in <laughs> in Champ's ladder. They always blitz with their wolf. Frenzy trap themselves and then dodge away <laughs> every time. <laughs> Making a few fouls here is fine, isn't it? Two reserves. standard kind of thing of getting in between. I mean, he is obviously at risk of a pass or a handoff here. Um, ideally, he'd want a bit of a tighter screen because a push, a push on this catcher breaks the screen, doesn't it? So I think maybe he should have moved. And he gets killed by the tree. Maybe he should have made a dodge with a dancer to get the here because at the moment 
pushing his catcher breaks the screen. Which is exactly where he goes for. He's definitely he's definitely thinking about the handoff, isn't he? This is this is okay, but the, the problem is. Oh, it's GFI and he's used his, his bonus reroll. Um, I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have been that scared of the strip the strip ball answer there because he could have just screened out a little bit to stop him. Um, the problem is for him it's turn six and not turn seven, isn't it? If this was turn seven, he'd be quite happy. But it looks like Drixen will be able to force him to score. And then have a two turn chance to score to make it 2 1. I mean, the player's just blitzing this guy and footing back. He does have plenty of people with dodge and that, and he just has to threaten the strip, doesn't he? I mean, that was. I mean, that's why he GFI'd twice, was so that he couldn't get stripped, but I don't think I would have done, especially with the wolf behind him. I think I would have just left him back. Pretty hard to uh, do anything now, isn't it? For Stringer Bell. There's no real. There's the possible chain. The only possible chain is Flesh Golem in here, and then Flesh Golem dodges to chain to get a power and chain out. But if he doesn't get a power, it's no good, is it? So he, I just think you go for the three plus and stall. Can't can't really stall. Well, could we could just roll, di roll, roll, roll loads of dice to sc stall? Sorry, I can't speak. You'd have to l roll loads of dice to be able to stall here. So um, I think he just goes for the dodge TD. I like this in case he fails the dodge, so he's got a bit of a safety against the inevitable Wood Elf counter attack. So he's nearly, nearly got it back, but obviously Wood Elves with two turns can definitely score. Defense he goes with. I mean, it's, it's not easy for them to score in two, but they've got two re rolls and they've got three, they've got five dodge agility four movement eight players and a thrower. So it's pretty hard to defend and everything, but strength four stand firm is, is really good on defense, actually, isn't it? Like when you're defending two turn scores and stuff. Not symmetrical, interesting. I think going for this, uh, we'll either go for the tackle guy or go for the ghoul is the is the better play. So that's, I guess that's why I did that, so because he's the defenseless one, isn't he? Um, if he knocks over either of these guys, he can he can go through this. No tackle zones there, or she pushes him. No tackle zones here. But Drake isn't setting up like he's in a rush to score, which is pretty weird. I don't know what his plan is. So 
to get a ride. <laughs> that seemed like it was not going to be easy to get a two turn score. But he didn't have, he didn't have a three dice with a three. That's really weird, isn't it? I, I don't know what his, I don't know what his plan was there. Like it was standard if he was going for a three turn, but very strange. I really don't know what his plan was to get the two turn there. Works out great getting the uh, getting the tree on the tackle guy though. Well. With really the GFI, just because he's got a reroll. No, good. <laughs> oh, he's got two turns. Is it three turns? Not two turns anymore. So they're the sort of players where I mean, if he only had two turns to score, which obviously wouldn't have to always here. But if he had three rerolls, some people would make make a GFI there just because he got a reroll and it wasn't necessary, was it? So I like that he didn't go for it just because he had it. Though he would never have done it. <laughs> with uh, three turns left and two rerolls. Yeah, I don't know what. I think maybe have the wrestle, wrestle wolf as your as your safety, but not both. Not both because you've got to stop them breaking through, haven't you? And now, with that dodge, the tree gets the three dice. Or he just he just goes for the block. Fair enough. And he's through here, isn't it? There's just a hole. You can just cage him. Have a full cage. Weird play all around by Stringer Bell, I think. Do you much good having two safeties when you've just let him <laughs> let him cage him in your half? I mean, it's really hard, it is really hard. Most of his guys are, you know, agility two and movement four. It is really hard to defend against woodies um, that want to score quickly, but I don't think that was the way. But he was helped by having three turns, wasn't he? Huge help having three turns. If he'd only had two turns, he might not have made it. Um, trick. And then if it's 1-1 one, one at half-time, um, Stringer Bell's in with a bit of a shot, isn't he? If he plays good, hard defence. But now looks like he's going to be 2-1 down. I don't know, I think he could have at least used them both and uh, gone for a one dice on the ball. Six plus dodge in and then a wrestle hit. <laughs> But this is just easy clear, isn't it? Dodge blitz score. Well, no, it's not dodge blitz. It's just straight up blitz. I was thinking you don't want to get the uh, get the wrestle. But that's only one in eighty-one, isn't it? There's no point doing a dodge to hit him because that's one in thirty-six to fail. So the better play is definitely just straight up blitz. If you get both down, if you one in nine it, re-roll it. So yeah, one in eighty-one to not score. Looking grim, looking grim for Stringer Bell. One more touchdown for Drake, and it's pretty much all over. I mean, it's, it's not all over, is it? Even a two or not. If Stringer hasn't lost anyone, Stringer Bell hasn't lost anyone. Uh, Drake's lost one player. 
So you know, it's ten versus eleven. If he plays, if he plays good hard defense, then and, and again he's gone for this uh, asymmetrical formation. And really, maybe it is to just stop a stop a defenseless player getting blitzed for a higher higher chance of knocking him over. I guess that's what it is. string of bells, so you know if you can just if you can base up all of the non-dodge players make make drick roll dice wow block without block punished um you know he could have made depending on where he's gonna blitz he could have made that block with a tackle guard probably pick up the, the the strip baller as long as you don't need strip ball on offense now well, he's gonna blitz Blitz with him. Oh, of course. So he was planning to make blocks without block, but once his reroll has gone, he doesn't. But yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty bad for Drake, to be fair. Being down to one reroll already. So yeah, I think this would definitely be a good opportunity to just herb dirt, base, base, base. You know, get tackle on the catchers, or well, or a catcher, and everyone else. You know, try to jam the air, jam the fleshes in somewhere good. It's it's not over. But boy, did uh, Stringer Bell sacrifices opening drive. That was really not good. Three dice, at least he doesn't turn over. Yeah, tackle her back. Yeah, I think I think that's fair, isn't it? He's got some some guys based up. The th the four that he hasn't based are all, have all got dodge anyway, so. Risky call by uh, Drick, really, to blitz the fleshy, but I guess there was no one else really to blitz. Trees rooted. So the trees eliminated itself from this drive somewhat on turn two after a, after a whole half of trying to remove him. He's almost removed himself. But you know he still controls he still controls the squares around him, doesn't he? And he's he's with being in the middle he's like you can cage with him or use him to do things, so it's it's not so bad that he's been rooted. So double GFI for the two dice. All he's got to do is free him up. Or one and nines. Or he could get the wolf round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wolf would have been the best one. Push the could have blocked. He failed again, didn't he? So he's one in nine twice. Didn't make any safe moves, which he could have done. But the better play would have been to chain the wolf out. And then the wolf could have come around and one diced. But yeah, he didn't make any safe moves first, did he? Which he, which he should have done. Had all these guys doing nothing, could have brought them all back, or or around or whatever. So, gotta say, a bit of a mistake there. I like that blitz there because on a power you'd have, you'd have got him out as well. I mean, he can still block. He can just block the wolf, which is fine. But he could have run them all around then. running them all around anyway, so you're probably not going to punch the wolf. I'd be inclined to punch the wolf here. Just because, you know, you might push him into there, which isn't great. But, if you had someone here, then he's a 
player here is stopping Flash Golem getting involved again, which is pretty important. Flash Golems are pretty annoying. And you could just blitz with it. He could have just blitzed with a Flesh Golem and faced the ball. You know, he's got a hope for a 1 in a 36, really, that's all. Obviously, he drinks five squares in so he can score without dice rolls. And I'm sure he will. First action, don't even make a three dash clock. Just win the game. <laughs> so yeah, 3-1. Very unlikely. Almost impossible for the Necro to come back now. I mean, he hasn't done hardly any damage, one cars. Marginally unlucky, but his mighty blow guy hasn't been hitting that much. So, you know, a few people said I was lucky against the dwarves not taking any cars, but he didn't have any mighty blow at all. So, and you know, he hasn't got much mighty blow. And if you haven't got mighty blow, and even if you have got mighty blow, it doesn't mean you're going to roll well enough for it to have an effect. So you can't you can't plan on removing woodies. Obviously, sometimes they get murdered. But not today. Interesting getting his tackle forward. Well, he maybe would have uh, not. I guess he's, he's got to go for the fast score, so why not move this guy right up there? With only one scoring threat, he's either ignored and pressure put on the ball for 4 1, or he's put down. And then he hasn't got many other options. I mean, at the end of the day, two, two, two touchdowns up. Drick, Drick just has to not use rerolls, you know, until he really has to. He can just let him score in two, and then he can score back or, or not get turned over. So he's just going for a safe defence, screen up a bit. A bit, a bit surprised he didn't blitz the uh, roof, to be honest. I think blitzing the wolf and then screening like this would have been would have been good. There's like no real value in blitzing the zombie, is there? Maybe he just wants him to take the risk of some kind of crazy pass to this wolf and then a hand off to the other one or something. Or hand off to this wolf and pass to the other one. I mean, that's what he should have done. He's, he's got to do the. He's got to do a pass of some variety. I think maybe he's a, a double G if I had a hand off to this wolf and then that wolf could have gone two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. G if I pass to the other. One. I think that might have been better odds than this long pass. I see in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, he was in range. Oh, okay. So yeah, pro that's probably all right then. But just passing it to the uh, to the white, it fails. And yeah, the woodies can just go and get it, can't they? Now he's going to mark the scoring threats. Just blitz him. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's a huge hole when he blocks here, isn't there? Yeah. I thought he'd have to like blitz one of these two, but he doesn't take him out, gives him all the space he needs. Can I elf here? And just the pass as well. <laughs> just to add insult to injury. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's a dodge away for a 2D, but even if he gets it, what does he even do? It's looking like 4 1 is looking much more likely than 3 2. I mean, if he scores this turn, um, then maybe he can get a blitz or something and win but on next turn, but really. Just string about. I don't know, he just kind of blew it, didn't he? Blew it going for the tree. Killed his own drive there. That was it. Maybe he wasn't, you know, with maybe just getting back from work. He wasn't wasn't focused. Wasn't focused on the game. And just paid for it. It's <laughs> doing a foul. Pure frustration, probably. I pause it for a laugh. <laughs> Maybe they were having some banter in chat here. <laughs> but yeah. That's all she wrote, isn't it? That's the thing, if Wood Elves, oh yeah. I'm still not sure what the best team is for this for. Wood Elves are really great at just rolling some dice and winning. Um, they're so frail, aren't they? Like they, they weren't frail this game. And games that they're not frail are amazing. But games where they're frail, or they don't get hits on the ball. I don't know, I feel like almost... I feel like I shouldn't have written off Undead or, or Dark Elves for my race choice. I I narrowed it down to Wood Elves and Humans pretty quickly, but I think Undead are actually really strong. You know, only marginally worse than Humans at, at, in Game 1, and after that, un, Undead looked like a really good choice. The problem is I didn't want to rely on Agility 3, so so, so my choices were Wood Elves or, or uh, Dark Elves. And, Rick certainly does a leap for fun to score. <laughs> yeah. You know, Wood Elves can, can murder anybody. Uh, particularly, it's just weird because they, they do better down players than anyone else. But then they're more likely to be down players than most, most teams, aren't they? So. But Drick looking very strong today. Well, more Stringer Bell looking weak, really, and he really isn't. Um, I know for a fact Stringer Bell's, you know, one of the one of the best coaches out there. But he just he just went for this tree, didn't he? And it was it was just a nightmare. If he two diced it with block mighty blow, fair enough. But going for just one dice after one dice. I know they were unlucky because they were all skulls, but still, it just it was just a flawed strategy. I thought, um, you know, maybe it was nerves, maybe it was pressure, maybe it was the fact that he wasn't prepared for the game. Hilariously, the tree man gets MVP because he sure was. Um, but yeah, well played. Dr Drick did everything right, didn't he? You know, took the took the scores and that. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.